Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society, and I'd like to talk to you today about a very serious issue in the media. I call it carbon taxophobia. It's like every article that comes up today talks about the supply chain interruptions and COVID as the rising cost of living causes, but no one ever, ever mentions the carbon tax. Well, I saw a very interesting little tweet on our Twitter feed about a month ago, and I thought, you know, that puts it very succinctly. So let me put that into concrete terms for you. Let's say you want to buy a green pepper. And let's say the green pepper costs, just for ease, a, a loony, a dollar. So here's the dollar, here's the loony. And behind the scenes what's happening is that the farmer, because of the carbon tax on him, needs two cents more. The shipper needs three cents more. The distributor also needs three cents more. Remember, these places have to cool and make sure that your product gets there safely and in a timely way, and that carbon tax is on all of the energy used for that. And then the retailer needs four cents more because of the carbon tax. So now your one dollar green pepper costs an extra 12 cents, a dollar 12. But you probably don't buy just one green pepper. You probably buy maybe a yellow and a red one. You probably buy a quart of milk. You buy a can of beans. You buy some pasta. All these things are processed and kept safe and manufactured and shipped using lots of energy and there's a carbon tax on all those things. And as for the retailer, what happens is that as the cost of living goes up, workers say, look, I need more money. I need more money to keep this job or I'll just quit. And that uh, domino principle runs also through every other aspect of our manufactured world. So the carbon tax is what's killing the cost of living in Canada. And don't believe the baloney that when you get a rebate, you're getting back more than what you spent. All these hidden cents are accumulating, and you will never get back what you spent on the carbon tax. And the carbon tax will not stop climate change, because carbon dioxide is a consequence of climate change, and only nominally a cause of it. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. P.S. You don't believe me on that? We've got lots of material on our website. Have a look. See what you think.